yes, we are back. Back again in Subway Sim Hamburg. It's a Subway Sim in Hamburg. I know. It, it's amazing, isn't it? Who thought of that title? Uh, we're back again to give this another go. First played it when it released. Uh, there's been some updates, uh, seven of them, eight of them. There's been some updates, so I thought I'd come back and do this uh, again. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, hello. I was waving at the screen and everything there. You couldn't see that. Uh, this going out uh, on a day, because that, that's when it's going out, is one of them. Uh, there's other things on other days. I know. Um, <laughs> he's waving. Um... Oh my goodness, I've lost my train of thought now. There'll be links in the description below to where you can get this game. There'll also be a link down there to a Twitch page uh, where you can watch this stuff on Twitch live. I, it's amazing, isn't it? I'm actually... It's like being on telly. I know. Anyway, I'm excited. Um, there'll be a link down there to a Discord server as well. Um, that's it, in it? Hello, Ethan. Uh, right, let's click on New Game. I can't remember what the controls are. And um, we'd have probably thought I should have really... Um, done something about that let's click on that one because that looks interesting um we'll have one then um uh we'll go with that one select a vehicle type like uh, that one okay ai trains oh we put that up ai trains medium oh it's going to be interesting can it weather we'll go with sunny then i should do anything i don't know let's find out is this live i don't know prod it and see it could be dead if it doesn't move it's dead if it's dead, you can peel it and eat it. Today you'll be driving a regular Hockban metro service. Make sure to stop at the front of each station's platform and let your passengers enter and leave the train. Make sure you always operate within the speed limits and do not cross any red signals. You'll find information on the current speed limit uh, and the next signal in the bottom right corner of the screen. Good luck and have a safe trip. Um, oh, I've got it. Hang on. Oh, okay. Uh, open doors. Oh god, was there a button for that? Um, I can't remember. Um, hang on. Uh, oh, hang on. Approve doors to the right side. So I did that. Oh, hang on. So we got it. Bear with me. Uh, am I closing the doors now? What's that doing? Um, oh, that was a button. I don't know what I'm doing. That's flashing. Doors are open. <laughs> Hang on, is that going to be the closed door? That's going to be the... Hang on, are they actually closing now? I don't know. No, they're still open. Is there a... <laughs> Help! <laughs> oh, hang on. T. Depart now. Oh, God. What's the depart now? <clears throat> um. Oh. Oh, we're moving. Movement is happening. Uh, right, doors on the left. Links. I got that bit. Oh, that's breaking. That's neutral. Okay, we're in neutral then. I forgot how good this looks. Oh, hang on. Bit of breaking. So we should have medium AI traffic. There's one. There's a train. Hello. I was waving at it and everything. I don't think he waved back. See, a proper professional, and I use that term lightly, uh, would have, um, you know, researched the uh, the control things before actually, you know, starting the stream. But, but, but you wouldn't want that, would you? You wouldn't want me, like, knowing what I'm doing. Okay, we've got to try and do the stopping thing here now. Hello. Is it me or do, is Ethan in a good mood? I wonder why. Uh, well, there's another train I could have chosen. But I think this is the only one that runs on this line. So they're only going to have this one. Oh, 
Okay, so do the braking thing. That'll do. Right, open doors. So that one. Oh, hang on. Now, did they actually? Oh, I did. Some doors opened down there. <laughs> Closed doors. Hang on, that's me again, isn't it? So is it the... T t oh, oh, I've got to get control. Is it a T button? Oh, I don't know. Does it T do anything? Depart now. Oh, it must be in the T button. It just took a while. Okay. There we go. Borgveg is the next place where we're doing the stopping thing. Does look really good. Am I, am I horny? Oh, I got a whistle. Right, doors on the left. Okay, we'll, we'll try that then. So, in other words, the doors going to be on the on the left because that's what she just said. Doors, links, links is left. Links is also a big a cat thing and a deodorant, anti anti perspirant thing. Spoke differently. And golf course is called Lynx, isn't it? Golf Lynx? Could be that. There's many of the tracks down there. 600 of the meters. I like the fact that it, does, it is counting down. Do 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 boo. Not that sort of counting down. 500 meters to go to Borg Veg. I should give them a little toot of my whistle. I got a green. In, is that new? We've got a green in 300 meters. That's up in the top right. And 200 meters, we've got the stoppy type thing. Oh, we're going underground. And there is the stoppy type place. It's what they're called. It's called the stoppy type places. Zerkutz Gefahren. Okay. Oh, I've over, I've overbraked. Don't ever break. Stopping. Okay, so right click on the mousey. No, left click on the mousey. Get the view to do the thingy. Press E, the buttony, and then click on the thingy, and then the doors open. Yes, people. Oh God, people are doing the getting off thing. It's quite, quite quiet when you're out of the stations, apart from the two T thing. Tutti Fruity. Right, so is it the T? I think we might have established it might be. Depart now. I'm guessing it is then. Oh, that works. So press the press the button for the side of the thing that you want the thing to be opening on the side. And then when you don't want the thing to be opening on the side anymore, you press the T. I'm now slightly curious as to what the L does. Right, doors on the left. More tea, Vicar. It's going well. It is. Well, as well as would could be, would could be, as well as is, was, tis was, could be expected. Zierstrasse. See, the, the thing that looks like a B isn't the B, it's pronounced just two S's. Just in case you were, you know, Curious. Curiouser and curiouser. Oh god, that's a lot of braking. I'm going to press the L. No, I can't press the L. I've got to press the doors. Zuckers Gefaden. They say that every single stop, type, place, thing, stop, thing. Stop. Oh, it's another train. Hello! Is it me you're looking for? Okay, so right click on the thing so I can move the view down there's the thing. Do the thing. Right click on the thing. Do the thing. There's people! Um, excuse me. Why did they jump up on the roof? Up on the roof. Close doors. Oh, I just did that. Okay, did it close automatically? Can I pull away without actually doing anything? Or have I got to press the T? No, I've got to press the T. And then it tells me to go? 
I'm working this out. It's only been like four or five stops. Depart now. Ah, see? I'm not as stupid as Ethan looks. No one. No one could be that stupid. Well, you do look quite stupid. Right, door on the left again. So this is on medium density uh, Traffico. Remember, ask if they want tea first. Don't just assume that someone wants tea. Oh, that's breaking. All right, a bit of the acceleratoring. The only thing that I think miffed me a bit last time with this is it's not a loop. You've got to go to the place and then turn around and go back again. But it is quite good, which is why I wanted to come back and do it again, because it is, as I just said, and I will repeat this, quite good. Breaking thing. Hello, passengers. You're going to be mine soon. All mine. Ha, ha, ha. Right, let's stop there. Okay, do the opening of the doors. <laughs> okay, so I think it needs a little bit of work because I think having people get on the train by jumping onto the roof, probably not the safest. Apart from that, we're doing okay. Depart now. Drive to next stop. Eppendorfer Baum. 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 Boom. Door on the left. There's a lot of tracks here, isn't there? That's many of the trackage. What's all these poles? Why have we got all these poles here? What's going on there? This is the, the parky place. Oh, there's one up there. Hello! Reminds me of the DLR. I mean, trains going all over the place at all different levels and things. Things and things and levels and things and things and levels and things and things. And things. Uh, oh god, stop E place. Breaking. Not many people here. Hello, people. Do you want to get on my train? I could do a thing, I think. Hang on. Uh, that one. Wow, it doesn't give you long to do the thing, does it? It's like, yep, just get on. Hurry up. Doors are closing. You just missed the train. Ha, 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 ha. Depart now. Okay. Stroppy. Ho, Luftbrucker. Was it ho, ho? Ho, ho, Luftbrucker. Doors are on the left. The doors are also on the right, but only the ones on the left will be opening. Try the ones on the right. Yeah, it does look uh, rather nice. This little little whistle. We're going to be running late. I don't care. There haven't been many. Well, I suppose there haven't been many. We've seen a couple come the other way. Not as many as I expected to see. but depends on how frequent the service. Where are we? We're at 8.38 in the morning, so you think we'd be in peak. As opposed to poke. Or as opposed to abu. Peak, abu. No, okay, just me. Okay. I'm in one of those moods. Leave me alone. Oh, there's a train over there, look. 
one on either side of the platform. Handy. One over there, one over here. Here's what there's no, literally no audio outside the train. Hmm. They're, they're, they are still continuing to update this. Oh, hang on, I've got to close my thing. Because don't go around with your thing open. Right, that train is leaving. Oh, that's me. i got to do the parting. Go. Schlump. Oh, that's... Wow. What a name for a stage. Where are you off to? Schlump. I know, Trout. Okay, so doors on the left. Schlump. Okay, well, that's it's obviously a real place. I'm not going to say that it's not, but it, it obviously is. It is quite overgrown. It's quite noisy. So the next station is Schlump. So where, I was about to say, where is this based? <sighs> okay, it's, so it's based in Hamburg. <laughs> I was going to ask myself, or I was going to ask you where it was based. I, now I looked at the stream title and I thought, oh, it's, it's Hamburg, isn't it? It's nearly Friday. We are now arriving at Schlump. Uh, is that a dead end? Or are we now going underground? Going underground. This is London. I don't think it is. Uh, oh, I can't. I can't reach the button. There we go. Press either button. Doors are, oh, doors are opening. Oh, they jump up on the roof. <laughs> what if you're not? What if you can't jump up on the roof? Can you, can you not allow? You're not, can you not allowed? That was good English, wouldn't it? Are you not allowed to get um, uh, on the train? So the T button, we think, is the one I need to press. I'm just guessing at it. Going deeper. No, no. Keep it PG friendly. Thank you. What does it do after I press the T? Why the long... Have I not closed the doors? I thought I did that. I have done that. Uh, it's not doing anything. Depart now. Oh, it is. Okay, I just took a while. Was it the same guard on the 158 yesterday? Is it Ed? Is Ed the guard? Oh, that's quite lighty. Sternschanze. That's what I just said. So, Einan so 21 and 31. So, buses, routes. Please exit here for Exhibition Hall. It didn't tell you what buses you could get in English, did they? Just get off here if you go into the Exhibition Hall. We don't care where you go after that. Shouldn't be here if you don't understand German. Uh, right. Press, oh, God, no. Press the button. Thank you. Why are they jumping on the roof? <laughs> Does seem a bit weird. Oh, hang on, have I got to wait till it stops doing the flashy thing before I press the thing? I'm guessing not. I don't know, I haven't worked this out yet. It's only been 20 minutes, leave me alone. Depart now. Oh yeah, it's me. Oh, sometimes it's straight away, other times it's like, no, we're going to see you there for five minutes. Unless it's regulating the service, but not telling me. Could be. Next halt. Feldstraße. Ausstieg links. 
doors on the left. Uh, it's quite a long route, 46 of the minutes, which means I'm going to be late, so expect this to be about an hour. And of course I'll not remember where I'm going from or to, so chances are when we do another route, it'll be the same one again. Because me. Right, back out. Well, it wasn't very long underground, was it? Back out. Always oh, like a bit of a cutting type scenario. We're not visiting the barbers or anything. Not that sort of cutting. Or we're not going to a bris. Not that sort of cutting. Oh, the wavy lines. Breaking. Right, pressy the button with the doors the thing, pressy the thing, change the view thing. Yeah, it's definitely very quiet. World's quietest subway stations. Close. You don't get very long, do you? Get off the train, get back on the train, and then we should be ready to depart when we are ready. Depart now, okay. They're painting on the window of the train. Yeah, someone's leaning out the window of the train with a paintbrush painting the wall. St. Pauli. My name is Pauli. Another parky type place for trains. They've obviously got little spaces where they just go and dump trains. What if you forget where you've parked it? Uh, good evening. Right, braking for St. Pauli. Another train over there. And you can tell that by the way that it's a train. Breaking. Ah, I stopped a little bit earlier, that's fine. Uh, open the door, do the thing. <laughs> Why aren't they going on the roof? You literally get about 10 seconds to get on and off. And it's like, yeah, we're done now. Depart now. Wow, okay, that was quick. Langdonsbrücken. Oh, hang on. There's, I, I don't want to make an Omsi reference here. But are any of these places in Omsi? Oh, doors on the right this time. We can get a harbour boat trip. Oh, I do like a good harbour. Doors are on the right. Oh, there's a boat in the thing. The water thing, I think they call it. The water thing, that's what it's called, the water thing. Not the water boys, that's they were a group. You saw the whole of the moon, apparently. Um, let's do the stopping. About there? Add a loop. Okay, doors are on the right, this side. Please exit on the right-hand side. Oh, there's boats and things. There's a, the, there's a sailie type one, there's the, 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 the loady type one, and the, the, the ferry. That looks... Is it me, or is the scaling of the sailboat completely off compared to the, sail, the, the scale of the what's supposed to be the cruise liner? Oh, that's the world's biggest sailboat, or that's the world's smallest cruise liner. Oh, is that is that a cruise liner for like for Ethan and Crispy and um, and Trent? Because it's tiny. It's like one third of proper scale, so they can fit in it. They feel normal sized. Well, you are tiny. Depart now. Oh yeah, me. 
So it's a shame with this that it isn't like um, the, the, you know, the suspended Wutterbahn, the Wutter thingy. The Wupper, no, what's it called? Wuppertal, the suspended railway thing. Uh, where that goes to the end, turns around, goes back. Shame we haven't got that in this. You are, you are a tiny human being. And you shouldn't be allowed out in public. For various reasons. Oh, that's speeding. Oh, this is quite nice. A shopping-y, sort of harbour type area. So we're above the road. You can tell that by the fact that we're above the road. And we're into a, a bendy station. You met someone on Tuesday who was smaller than you. Were they about three years old? Because, you know, it generally happens with, you know, children. Uh, your age. Oh dear, the poor person. <laughs> closing doors. Doors are closing. Uh, right. Do the tea thing. <laughs> yellow submarines in the water. I don't think there are any yellow submarines. Uh, closing doors. When we eventually depart now. Oh yeah, that's me. Go, go, go. I have to do some more tram sim at some point. Because that's quite good. It does mean bringing the eggs box up here. Right, doors on the right. Ausstieg rechts. Roadings marked. It's quite a long route as well. As routes go, it's quite lengthy. As lengthies go, it's quite routy. It's lengthy, routy. Routy, lengthy. The Xbox, yeah. I really want a Nintendo Switch, but I can't justify it to myself. Because I know I wouldn't use it. We are arriving at Rodings Marked. Toot. Closed doors. Well, I haven't got a short button shortcut for that, so I'll press this one. Depart now. Okay. I will. Fine. I would. Fine. Stroppy type. Stroppy. Stroppy person. Stroppy muck. Stroppy pants. underground so from above the ground to underground that's quite cool uh tomorrow night by the way uh we should be playing with our balls uh golfing with idiots uh some friday night fun tomorrow uh saturday night some open ttd some transport tycoon uh sunday lunchtime uh back with some farming and then uh, back on tuesday with uh probably some trains in world three um because uh either wednesday or thursday next week um will be the return of flight. We shall uh, jump back in an aeroplane. Uh, next Friday will be Forza. Um, next Saturday could see the return of trucking. I haven't done that in a very long time. Oh, that's, that's sort of breaking. That's not just sort of breaking. It's actual breaking. Oh, I've got to do the thing. Doors. Thank you. Do the thing. Thank you. What? <laughs> they all just exit simultaneously, and the ones getting on just jump up on the roof. It's a novel tactic. 
I suppose it's Tic Tacs. You still buy Tic Tacs? No, you can. Depart now. Fine, okay, I'll depart now. Oh, it's dropping in it. Monkensbergstrasse. It's close. Right, doors on the right. Why well, is someone on the left and some on the right? What's going on? I'm guessing it's where we got an island platform. We're on the island on the left. When we got a non-island platform, it's not an island, so it's on the right. That makes actually makes sense. That's quite logical. I don't like that. We don't like logic. I do like the fact it's a mixture of the undergroundy ones and the overgroundy ones and the wombling free ones. Uh, I don't know if anyone's seen Jeff Marshall's video uh, today, the least used tra uh, station on the uh, the New York thing. Uh, I now I, I haven't really had an inkling to go to New York before. Um, I now want to go to New York. <laughs> oh, hello. Close doors. Oh, I just I've just opened the flipping things. Monkenstrasse. Depart now. Okay. Take you with me. No. Doors on the left. Because you weren't allowed to go to Penzance because it was too far. Oh, it's quite a funky looking station. That's a hell of, hang on. That's a hell of a wide platform. Has this station been amended, I reckon? There's been some amendum, 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 amendums. I reckon this two used to be a, a two thing and they made it into a one thing. Oh, it's just incredibly wide with a, a Yomas place there. Drive to next stop. But I haven't closed the doors. I can't do that. We're breaking all kinds of rules. I was built for capacite. Next up, how ban off Sud? Nächster Halt, Berliner Tor. Übergang zur U2, O4, S1 und S21. Hang on. It's not actually counting as I stopped at the last stop. I opened the doors and closed them. Oh, I'll well, see what happens at the next one. That was a bit of a strange dip down and dip back up again. Oh, it's blue. It's blue. We like a bit of blue. I reckon I've gone wrong somewhere. There's a lot of crisscrossy of the of the tracky type things. Oh, breaking. I think they've changed the um, controls to make it more like because it's A and D is now the the throttly thing. So to make it more like everything else. And we have a light that's coloured red. Right, it, what's it going to do if I actually open the doors here then? Oh, well, people are getting on. But I can't go anywhere because of the red. So if I press my thing to do the doors. 
and I've now got to wait. So it's still going to, it still reckons I need to be at the stop behind, not the stop in front, or not this stop, technically. Not technically, actually. Uh, we can't go. Please let me go. I want to go. I will have, while I'm waiting, a baby made of jelly. Not an actual baby. Oh, I've just realised what today is. For those of you that watch the farming sim streams, or for anybody that's watching that's on the farm, today is the third Thursday of the month. It's farm sim payday. Nobody was there between 3 a.m and 3.01 a.m. Uh, this morning to collect their farm wages. Uh, oh yeah, Train Sim World 3 looks a lot better than Train Sim Classic. Um, you can't deny that. But I actually quite like this. Um, now, is it holding me here because it still wants me to stop at the previous station so have I broken it I may have slightly broken it because it didn't like it what happens if I go through the red should we try out we find out oh I've been suspended okay well, call that a trial run. <laughs> For those who weren't here at the beginning, then. Um, let's get a setting. We're dealing with the audio. Audio. Master volume, music volume. We don't want that. SFX. So that's all audio quality. Hang on. Epic. We'd apply a bit of epic audio. Thanks very much. <laughs> Low, medium, high, epic. Uh, overall quality, epic, 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 off. Okay. Uh, right, new game, timetable mode. So, select a station from the list. So, that's where we can start from. So, it's 200... We'll go from here this time, then. Vonsbeck Gardenstad thing. Um, we can do... Should we do an early morning one? The Zug, five o'clock in the morning. We'll do that one. Um, we'll do the DT5 two times. We'll get the AI trains on many. And then we'll start. Okay. So early morning from the other place with lots of AI. Although it's five o'clock in the morning, there probably won't be that many. And we've got the audio on Epic. I wonder if that means we'll actually get some audio in the stations now. Right. Oh, hang on. Can we do it? Hang on. Have we got window we can... Can we? No, we can't. Okay, well, we can open the window or something. Oh, hello. That's... I've changed my view. I did a thing, Mum. What? No. There. Approved or... No, still, still don't get any audio. Okay, so even having epic audio. Wait three seconds. Wait naught seconds. Close doors. Okay. So at five o'clock in the morning, it's quite light. It must be summertime. In the summertime when the weather is right. Habikstrasse. Right, door on the left. I can't see I'm noticing the audio being you know, any more fantastic. Five o'clock in the morning. That's a good time in the morning. I like 5 a.m. 5 a.m. is a good time. I should probably be awake at 5 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday morning. 
I do like an early morning on a Sunday. It's quite nice. Most people have a lie-in on a Sunday. I'm like, no, no. Up at five. Oh, a bit of Amstein. A bit of Duhast. Right, we're now approaching Habix de Lasso. Sounds like a me problem. So I don't expect to see many other trains at this time of the morning. It's not going to be a frequent service, is it, at 5 o'clock? You will not be up at 5 a.m. on Sunday. I may be. Depends how late a night I have on Saturday, I suppose. We have arrived at the, the place that, the, well, the place that we are. The place that we're at is the one we've arrived at. Oh, a few people getting on, onto the roof. Let me guess, London again? No. Uh, closed doors. No, no, staying local this weekend. Depart now. Okay. Barmbeck. Not the pier at Weston. Did she say schlump? Do we have to... Ch oh, is this a case of change here for trains to schlump? So if you're going to schlump, you've got to change here. And I'm emphasising the P in schlump. Uh, why did I go from 1,500 metres to 2,500 metres as distance left to my station? That was slightly concerning. Now it's gone to 900. Okay, there might be an issue. Well, we're we going to Schlump. Oh, ask us. Ow, balls. Bear with me. I've got a screenshot, that's alright. <laughs> a detour. Uh, well, it could be, or it could just be the routing, I suppose. It didn't know where we were going. It's, you know, it's only just been released. They are still updating it. I do really like it. It is one of those, and I will be honest. I'm not sure what the long-term playability is. Uh, in the same way as... Uh, with tram sim really good really enjoy it like doing it it's something you can put on for like you know a couple of hours maybe and then you know how often would it be that you would go back to it this is one of those that i think to have longevity there's a word um you need more routes <laughs> but if this is the the full length of the the subway in hamburg well that's all you can do isn't it <laughs> You can't just add bits on because the purists would go, what do you mean you've added a bit on? That means it's not accurate anymore. Right, opens the doors. The doors are now going to be doing the thing where they are no longer be closed. It's going to be open. And people get up on the roof. Why isn't anybody concerned that people are getting on the roof? Surely that should be some sort of health and safety form you'd have to fill out there. People on the roof, is that alright? Yeah, it's okay, we're not in any tunnels or anything. Right, doors on the right. See, I'm fluent in German. I think this would be quite cool if, well, maybe we'll, well, yeah, we should be able to do another one. 
is to do something middle of the day or like evening rush hour so four o'clock five o'clock and then put the AI on maximum just to see the the frequency of service again these big words I'm using service Because, well, I'm not surprised we haven't seen many come the other way, because it is early in the uh, in the morning type thing place. Because some four shows at 5 a.m. I'm thinking that'll be interesting. Who that was? We'll blame Ethan. Den hider. Where you hide your dens? And blame me. I chose it. This, well, okay. Oh, that's the thing. It reminds me a bit of the New York Metro from the side. And then you look at the front, it's like this big glassy type thing. The driver going, hello, it's me. How are you? Oh, God, that's close. How are you doing? How are you doing? Okay, look, look into my eyes. Look, oh, God, look into your head. That's a bit close. We don't need to get that close. I can see right into your soul. Uh, right. That way. Doors are doing something. I don't know what it does when I press that button. Things may be happening. Oh, depart now. That's me. I wait for it. I'm used to a little buzzer type thing, but I suppose if it's only me and there's no guard. You wait for someone to go. Go, 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 go. Hamburger. Mm. I've done a proper burger. I mean, a proper burger. Not a McDonald's burger. A proper burger in a, such a long time. Drive to the next stop. Hamburger Strasse. I think there's a lot of burger places you get now are chains, aren't there? You can't go to a, a pub for a burger because that's just something that's frozen. Um, you always need to go to a proper butcher shop, buy some decent burgers, and then uh, cook them yourself. Whip out your George Foreman. Lovely idea. I won't do it, obviously, but it's a lovely idea. Right, Munzberg is next. Doors opening on the right. Uh, what do you mean, we could? Ladies and gentlemen, the next stop's going to be Munzburg. If you're getting out of Munzburg, can you make sure you're going on the right-hand side? Uh, doors are opening on the right. If you're going to Mary Hill, uh, get off at Munzburg. You'd help me. Uh-huh. Right, we are now arriving at Munzburg. Hi, Michael. You'd throw the chips. I don't do chips in the oven. They've got an air fryer. Chips in the oven. Anything goes in my oven is a pizza. Uh, open doors.
We are the U3. <laughs> it, just ignore the people on the roof. Uh, we are the U3 to schlump. Depart now. Okay. We have a light that's green, which means we can go. So that we shall do. Doors opening on the right hand side. Yeah, I actually really do like this, you know. It's uh it's very simple, but looks good. You know, you, you can't deny it doesn't look good. Um, it's a 45-minute run. Well, actually, I don't know if all the lines are 45 minutes. We've only done two of them so far. Press E, the button E, to do the stoppy, opening doorsy thing, aren't we? <laughs> yep, we're going to get on the train and jump on the roof. Uh, did to close the doors? That one. Close the doors with pressure plate check. Close the doors with light gate check. Oh, I see. Look, we got two buttons in it. Open the approved side of the doors. Approve doors on the right. Approve doors on the left. Make announcements on the inside. Make announcements on the outside on the right. I don't know. Right. Hang on. We can do... Right. So we can play with it. So if we just press the middle one, it'll open the doors that it should be opening. And we got a light check. So we can press the L. Right, doors on the right. Lübecker Straße. Oh, breaking. More of the breaking. More, more, more of the breaking. More of the, lots of the, all of the breaking. It's fine, don't panic. Okay, so if I do the pressy in the middle one. Nothing. Okay, I'll do the pressy of the, uh, that one then. There we go. Wow, they really don't get long. So if I press the, once I press the L. Is this to let me go? Depart now. Okay, so whether I press the L or the T, it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> okay. Noted. So this is the only train you get then. <laughs> it was almost like a shunting whistle. Or um, um, a depot whistle that, like, the tube trains have. But yeah, they've definitely remapped the controls. They're more logical now. Not that I do logical most of the time. Oh, that's a lot of speeding. Speeding is happening. Speedy trainee. I don't know where my brain was going then. I was trying to think of something but couldn't. Oh, that's more speeding. Breaking. We've now arrived. I haven't had a good steak in a while either. I'm just saying, thinking about food. I don't know why. Um, left. Anybody getting on the train? 
Anybody getting on or off the train? Close the doors. We didn't get much chance, did they? Press the L button to add us. Depart now. That's quite quick. Okay, so is the L button quicker than the, the, the other one? We shall try by pressing the L in future. They said about regional trains on the other and that. So in German, they give you information like yeah, get off here if you want to get on the regional lines or non regional lines. In English, just get off here for Central Station. It's like, well, thanks then. You know, we're a tourist in your country visiting your lovely city of Hamburg, and you know, you're not even going to tell me where to go. How do I like my steak? Uh, medium. Right, we will shortly be arriving at Halbanoff Sud. Don't mind black. Yeah, and no, I like a medium. I can't remember the last time I actually had a steak. Actually, no, I do. It was uh, Christmas before last. I went to Miller and Carter. Other places are available that sell steaks. Well, yeah, I suppose, yeah, you found your own way onto the train. You can find your own way off it. Yeah, I suppose through that. Did you, you made it on here, didn't you? We've been here before. I got a sense of déjà vu, déjà vu, Darjeeling. Sense of déjà Darjeeling. Slightly confused. I'll just stop back here a long way from the place. Had a loop. Uh, open doors. For like three seconds. Hang, sorry, what? Hang on, hang on. Hang, hang, what? Sorry, what? Hang, what? Now? So, do you, um, you've never had steak. How have you never had, st oh, because you're a fussy bugger, aren't you? How have you never had like steak, chips and peas? Steak and chips. Nächster Halt, Mankebergstraße. Ausstieg rechts. Right, doors are opening on the right. I'm not taking you out for steak, that's bloody expensive. Why do they climb on the roof? I don't know. You know, I like you, Ethan, just not that much. When you can afford to pay for your own steak, go for it. You always want to have a steak and chips. That's a mistake. Very good. I see what you did there. I'm sure Weatherspoons do a steak. I'm sure that'd be lovely. Uh Another way you'll get off just in unison and then the people just jump on the roof. I Yeah, I do like this. It's one of those games where you don't care about the little foibles. There's a word. Depart now. Okay. I do like the fact it's a 45 minute run. Okay, we had issues on the first run, but ignore that. A rat house. A house full of rats. Lovely. Cook one of those. So again, didn't tell us what services were running. Like the th 23, 30, 33, where it was, she mentioned. Yeah, they're not very tourist friendly, are they, these announcements? I should write and complain to Mr. Hamburg Tourist Office.
open doors to the rat house. They go everywhere. <laughs> wow. That is <laughs> it's quite funny. Uh, we'll go with the L. And moving on. Next stop is somewhere. Depart now, okay. Roading's marked. Doors on the right. You also went to try albatross soup. Albatross! I think I played Ethan that clip when he was last here. He's always here. What oh, flavour is it? Been seabird flavour, isn't it? That's quite bendy. It is quite bendy. Bad smell you can't get rid of. Well, occasionally it does smell a bit, but you know. Do you get waffles with it? No, you don't get bloody waffles with it. We are now stopping at Roding's Market. Uh, that one. Yeah. Or a bit of garlic bread. Oh, spaghetti bolognese. Oh, spag bowl and a bit of garlic. Boom, now you're talking. <sighs> Making me bloody hungry. Um, I had two chicken Kievs for my tea. Because <laughs> I can't bother doing any chips. Um, depart now. Okay. Got bird's eye. I don't mind a bird's eye potato waffle, in all fairness. Doors opening on the right hand side. We were here earlier. This looks familiar. We're going the other way this time. Because trains can go one way and then the other way. It's a clever system. Otherwise all the trains end up at one end of the track and someone will be going, hang on a minute. There's a technical issue here. All bit of Bernard Matthews. Yeah, I quite like having little things like that in the freezer, just because I'm the world's worst cook. Um, I bought some uh, Alpha Bites the other week, and I don't, you know, don't mind having the odd bag of smiley faces in the freezer as well. Because, you know, I am four. Um, I am currently some sort of pasta dish. Courteously. Good English there, Ethan. A bit of shoe pastry. A bit of a cream horn. He had a pasta thingy courtesy of Tesco's on Sunday, which was a rather nice pepperoni pasta thing. Which was rather jolly. A Sunday or Monday, I can't remember. The days just merge into one. There is a train. Oh, I do like a carbonara.
Right. Breaking is happening because we're at the station. Otherwise, we wouldn't be breaking. But we could. One thing I'm not doing on this is paying attention to the lights. You got tram sim on trial. I was going to do tram sim, but it means bringing the Xbox up here, and that's just a lot of hassle. Um, so I didn't. I may do it again in the future. In fact, I probably will. Closing doors. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of seafood. Kippers, that's about it. A little bit of cold occasionally. Not even a fan of fish fingers. St. Pauli is next. Right, doors on the left. Yeah, it's definitely a nice relaxing thing. Game, that's what I was trying to think of. This one. You know, this one. The one, this one. This one. This one's the relaxing one. This one. Not any other one. This one. Breaking. More breaking. Opening the doors on the left hand side of the train. <laughs> there's obviously some there's obviously a glitch there, isn't there? Where they, they get on and just jump to the roof. To the roof, to the roof. This is not your or average hot dog. This is an Ethan hot dog. We can't talk about Ethan's hot dog. It's a PG friendly stream. Doors aren't going to be opening on the left. Yeah, definitely one to consider. I can't remember how much uh, this is. There is a link to it somewhere. Um, but it's that's actually quite nice. I do like it. If it was rubbish, I wouldn't have done it twice. But I wanted to do it again because there's been some updates. That's the one. Breaking. We have now arrived in Feldstrasse. We need a magnifying glass. For what? Closed door. Give me a chance to do anything. Blimey, McCharlie. You've got to be quick to ride the flipping Hamburg Metro, innit? you? Stern Shans. Stern, Stern, Stern Shans. That's going to be the next place we go to. Doors on the left. To the left, to the left. You blame me. I accept all responsibility. I was perfectly normal till I started doing this. So I actually blame you lot. There's a train going the other way. If it had been going the same way as me, then I wouldn't have seen it because it would have been in front of me. That makes sense, doesn't it? He wasn't here six years ago. There aren't many people that still are. <laughs> Larwood. Um... Larwood and Liam. 
I think, are probably the only two people um, that have been here the whole six years that are still around. Larwood, we just never get rid of. I'm, I'm going to be in a retirement home with, with Larwood. Uh, closed doors. This New York. Hamburg. It's in the title and everything. It feels like New York. And from the side, the units do look like the New York ones. Right, schlump. You've been around three and a bit years. Really? A lot of people joined... Oh, of course, that was COVID, wasn't it? I keep forgetting that was bloody three years ago. Um, yeah, a lot of people joined about around COVID. Um, yeah, Crispy, Trent, um, Greg, a lot of people. Yeah, during because I was streaming a lot during lockdown. I was streaming three times a day because I was just sat at home, bored. And that's where a lot of people found me and gone, this guy's weird. I got nothing else to do. Let's just watch him. Oh, God, he's back on again. Oh, no, he's back on again. And then certain weirdos um, stuck around. The train's in World 2020. Blimey. And now look. I now have an Ethan in my life pretty much permanently. Depart now. Oh, yeah, I was waiting for that. Ho, 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 Luftbrucker. Uh, you bring my smile back, Ethan. And I can't thank you enough for that. Uh, right, 900 of the meters. To ho, 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 Luftbrucker. Yeah, I, I really, I, I loved York. Um, and it was really good. The only problem with meets like that, we had the same when we did the one in London. It's brilliant when we get a lot of people together. And it really is. The problem is, and I do want to correct this when we do something else again. The meets we used to do four or five years ago, uh, we'd always arrange an overnight stay. Which I know isn't always something that everyone can do. But when we did things like um, Cosford, so we did the, like the Flight Sim show, uh, look around Cosford, or even when we did uh, Convoy in the Park, we then do the day, go back to a hotel, give you a chance to shower, change, go and have a meal, and then you'd sit in the bar um, and chat, which you never really got the opportunity to do during the day because you're on your feet walking around. So I, I certainly want to organise something, uh, maybe later in the year, um, with an option to do that again so that people can actually have op the opportunity to sit down and actually have a conversation um, for those that drink and have a few beers for those that don't sit and have a coke but it's quite nice to occasionally just sit and chat so yes I want to go back to York um, and uh, I think Christmas is probably going to be a good time to do it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, booking it in advance. So if I said, you know, beginning of December, Saturday, uh, stay overnight, come back Sunday, um, would probably work. People that want to stay overnight, stay overnight. People that didn't travel back. Yeah, and again, book it a long time in advance. The thing is, what you want to do and is what we had before, everyone stayed in the same hotel. So you're all meeting each other for breakfast the following morning, but and then departing after that. Um, and then in the evening, you're all in the same hotel rather than people dotted across the the area that then they've got to try and travel to a hotel 
So yeah, I'll certainly look at that. I, I do want to go back to uh, back to York. I uh, even discussed on the phone today, actually, with Ethan, um, possibility of doing like a maybe a morning in Newcastle uh, and then an evening in York, or even Newcastle. So you know, somewhere different, or somewhere more central. You know, York. It's easy to get to for most people, but is there somewhere else in the country that's even easier? So, yeah, I, I, I do. I'll press tab then, didn't I? <laughs> I'm getting confused. Too much time in Train Sim World. Um, so, yeah, I will organise something for the end of the year. Wow, they don't give you long to get off today. It's like, I've just given you a chance to do a thing. There we go. Um, depart now. Okay. Yeah, Birmingham um, is certainly good. And Manchester's easy to get to. Right, doors on the left. A little bit narrow. Blimey, that's some tight tolerances. So yeah, keep around on the Discord, Michael. Um, certainly, we'll get the next couple of months out of the way because people go on the holiday, don't they? Sort of July, August into early September. So maybe end of September, we'd organise something and then get some dates and um, so people have got a couple of months to save and get stuff booked. But yeah, I, 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 you know, I would like to be able to just stay overnight somewhere. It just makes it less of a pain of a day. <laughs> just jump up on the roof. It's fine. One of the best ones we stayed at was when we did um, uh, when we did Cosford. There was a brilliant. Uh, hotel um, attached to a pub in Telford um, at like about 16 rooms it was really cheap um, and the pub opposite where you went for your breakfast the following morning uh, it was really good food um, really friendly staff and fairly easy to get to Yeah, well, that's what I said, Michael. We had the same when we did uh, Convoy in the Park last year. You know, those that went well, last year before, um, you're wandering around with them and you don't really get to converse much. Even when we did London uh, earlier this year, uh, like nine of us went into London and there wasn't really much opportunity to talk because you're either walking and you're separate to each other or when we were walking around the Transport Museum um, or then we went to the, about the same time we did the National History Museum. Science Museum. Well, they were the same. No, it wasn't the Science Museum. It was a separate one. Um, you're walking around the museum, so you don't. You're not really talking to people. I think the the only time you actually talk to someone is when you're sat around the table, uh, which is what we did briefly when we had lunch at um, at York. So you know, having a few hours to do that um, gives you an opportunity. So go back to the hotel and spend with from you know six to eleven or whatever. Um, just chatting is actually quite nice. We just chuck Ethan back on a train to London and then we can talk about him when he's gone. Doors opening on the left at Borgvig. Oi. Well, you would be able to stay in York, so we just chuck you on a train back to London. You're going to find him a purple tracksuit.
<laughs> now I'm going to make sure I'm a different train to you this time, Ethan. I may even drive. It's not that bad a drive, actually. Depends on the cost. Again, something that's booked far enough in advance, you'd get it fairly cheap. So if in September we went, right, this is the date, this is the hotel, who's interested, uh, it wouldn't be expensive. Bam Hang on, we were going to Schlump before. Why are we going to Barmbeck now? Why have we changed? Uh, I'm confused. We, we've changed the destination thing. Depart now. Okay. Doors on the left at Saarlandstrasse. Yeah, I do actually like this. It's really relaxing to do. I like the graphics. I like the audio. Uh, the actual motor noise could do it bring down a little tiny bit, I think. So that you'd hear um, more of the uh, announcements and things. Uh, I wish there was some audio outside. But, you know, it does look really good. It's running in Unreal, I think. Some little maintenance type things over there, look. That's what they're called, maintenance type things. As we're approaching Saarlandstrasse. Uh, yeah, it's a bit overcast. I had to go out um, for work earlier. Uh, I didn't bring a jacket with me, so I jumped in the van, opened the windows, and had like a 45-minute drive. Um, and as I got there, it was just starting to spit with rain. Ended up on, on some scaffolding in the rain. I was like, hmm, so the drive back is going to be interesting. By the time I got back to Swindon, it was fine. <laughs> like, what the hell? I just caught in a little tiny bit of rain. Um... I do like a little horn. It appears to be a loop. Well, no, I'm sure last time uh, we did this, you don't, you couldn't actually go round the full loop. It stopped you. And you had to stop and reverse. Unless they've now done an update since the last time I played it. It didn't get up to 11. A bit like someone else. A bit like someone else I know that didn't get up till nearly 11 then. Right, yes, this is the last stop. Barmbeck. This train terminates here. All change, please. I've been working for three hours at that point. You're not doing that on Saturday, sunshine. Right, we are approaching Barmbeck. Well, yeah, I suppose you used to get... The thing is, I my week off, well, I left the alarm set anyway. Um, but I'm still awake at the same time. I think Crispy's finding that. Crispy's been on holiday this week. Uh, he's been messaging me at like half past six in the morning because he's awake. Because his, his body clock already is like, yeah, you go to bed early, you get up early. That's it. Right, open doors. Close doors. Well, no one got on or off. part now. Oh, hang on. Well, there's no one. Okay. 
Okay, color me intrigued. Bitte nicht einsteigen. So train not in service, I'm guessing. Ah, is this where we stop and reverse? I'm guessing so, otherwise you're going to come into a bit of a crash. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the timetable. Uh, 1 minute 38. That's not bad. Right, so let's go back to the, uh, the menu then. Let's go to timetable mode again. So we've done that one. Silence to us. Let's do that. There's only three services a day. Uh, oh, only three minutes, that's why. Oh, that's just turning that train around. Okay, let's not do that then. So, Barmbeck, Barmbeck. Let's do that, Barmbeck. That's only 21 services a day. 39 minutes. That'll do. Uh, we'll go with that. We'll put the AI trains to maximum again. Should we go rainy? We'll go cloudy? We'll go cloudy. See what the weather looks like with the cloudies. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, low. Can I have some views? Thank you. Uh, right. Open doors. Oh, hello. Did a thing. Right. So you're going to slump. You applied for apprenticeship yesterday. I thought you did that weeks ago. Months ago, even. Um, right. Wait. 11 seconds. Okay. Three, two, one. Close doors. Uh, depart now. We shall do the parting thing now. Right. Dan oh, that's the thing we're going through. Right, so doors opening on the right. That'll be the end of Ethan then. Now Crispy started work. We don't see much of Crispy during the week. Um, Ethan will be working all sorts of unsocial hours. So uh, this will be the end of Purple Boy. Please don't work for the same company as you do. Well, his will be uh, London, won't it? Right, 400 meters to Den Hyde. Dan Hyde? Den Hyde. Den Hyde. It's cloudy, I suppose. So the weather thing did do a thing. Whether it'll make a difference. I think we're actually going to get rain on the track or anything. Breaking. Open doors. Doors are now opening. Did I open the right side. Yeah, I did. Oh, there's just no one getting on or off. Okay, that'll do it then. Depart now. Okay. Onwards to Hamburger Strasse. Well, yeah, well, good luck, Ethan. Halt, 
sure you'll keep us informed of your progress. So you got to get an interview, I suppose, is the is the first thing. Drive to next stop. Well, I could walk to next stop, but it'd be pretty stupid. It's like seeing your kids go off to go off to work, isn't it? Crispy's now Crispy was here, you know, wet behind the ears, wouldn't speak to anybody. Um, we've moulded him, we've broken him, and now he's off doing a job thing. Ethan comes along, an annoying git leaves to do a job thing, maybe as an annoying git. <laughs> Closed doors. Departing now. Munzberg is next. So, Crispy's starting to be able to come to my place at weekends, just as Ethan then stops. I'll swap one for the other. I get rid of an Ethan, I gain a Crispy. Because Ethan will be working all sorts of strange hours. Saturdays, Sundays, evenings, mornings. At least for what Crispy's doing, it's only Monday to Friday. Breaking. I can't believe that Schlump is an actual place. Wow, they really didn't give you much time to get off today. Depart now. Okay. I'm not sure about the the motor audio. I'm not sure if this is how they actually sound. There is only one style of tram, subway, thing, whatever this thing is. Ulanstrasse is the next stop. This is about a 40 minute route, this one, so it's probably the last one that we do. Yeah, I wanted to come back and do this. I haven't done it in a while to see what the updates were. They've certainly improved things. As I said, the, the controls seem to be a lot more straightforward. So, in line with everything else. I'm sure last time I played this, the controls are just weird. Literally, they give you no time to get on and off the train. Depart now. Onwards. Okay, we are stopping on the right. Um, I don't know, it looked fairly flat from an access point of view. I don't know about get how uh, getting on and off the, the train seems okay. It's how you get in and out of the station is another matter. Where were we? Where we saw that annoying person? Out somewhere in London. Guy in one of those electric um, scooter things. Four-wheel mobility scooter things. 
obviously using the lifts to get around the station but rather than you know knowing that there's a lot of people because it was a saturday uh, and there, and there's a um, a lot of people around rather than take his time he was no he was just bibbing his horn at everybody as though i'm coming through get out of my way he was a really really annoying git so hang on a minute you're the one that's in a busy station you're the minority here so you know be courteous of other people don't just go flipping sounding your horn I get annoyed by those pillocks on those um, e-scooters. I'm going to be me in a couple of years' time. Quite probably. I should be retired to the coast then. I won't really care. Well, 20 years' time. Berliner tour. I shall find me a rich man to take care of me in my old age. That's what I need in life. Uh, we are now arriving at Berliner tour. Breaking. Stop. Schlump Bombeck. See, it changed the clip in front of the thing again now. Schlump Bombeck. Its train doesn't know where it wants to be and where it wants to go. Closing doors. Press one of the buttons, I don't know what they do. One does something, another one does something. They both close the doors. Depart now. Okay. How ban off should even. Okay, so doors on the left, regional lines and things from here as well. Hauptbahnhof Süd. Oh God. Why is this? That's blue things really strange. low speed limit as well. Braking slightly. Oh, braking a lot more slightly. It's a really nice bright station, this one. We are now arriving at Halbanhof Sud. See, why have they given me an announcement button that doesn't actually work? Disappointed, as that's going to be a future thing. Stand clear of the doors. Departing now. 
yeah, my only gripe, I think, with this is the motor audio. It's just... It's just on or off. It's a slight difference when you accelerate, but it's the same drone. It's my only gripe. I do really like the game, though. It's different. Something you could just put on, do a couple of trundles up and down, and that'll be it. I want to keep an eye on to see what the updates are that they bring out for it. And see. Yeah, but it's odd that there's no audio. <laughs> Let's get off. Yep, we're going to be leaping on the roof now. Also makes me want to do the Bakerloo line doing this. Um, did that recently though. Depart now. Oh yeah, the stream's coming up. Uh, tomorrow night we're playing with our balls. Uh, is there an interior view? I think so. There's that view. There's a view on top of the train. That's a thing. But no, there's no interior passenger type view. A rat house is next. Uh, yeah, I was the same. Tomorrow night we're playing with our balls, golfing with idiots. Uh, Saturday night I'll be back with some uh, open TTD, some transport tycoon. Uh, Sunday afternoon on the farm. And then back on Tuesday with some trains in World 3. Uh, oh god, breaking. Um, we're going to be uh, on the Great Western Express. Uh, Wednesday something. Thursday may be the return of flight. Either, either Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, next Friday, Forza. Next Saturday, uh, trucking. The return of. It's been a long time since we did the trucking thing. We have closed the doors. We are waiting to depart. We are now doing the departing. Yeah, I don't know how popular this has been. I don't know whether this has given them enough money to be able to go, okay, we've done Subway Sim Hamburg, whether they would then do it somewhere else. Because like this, this aspect of it, I really like. In fact, it almost, almost reminds me of the DLR at place, that's a few. Uh, places because you're going from like underground to overground and on these raised sort of stanchions it's very DLR like I think the DLR although it's driverless um, although it can be driven um, I think a DLR would be awesome because it's the, the way that it you change from one track to another track like really tight curves and stuff um, I don't know what the distance time wise is from one end to the other but uh, I think that warrants something uh, prove the doors on the right hand side people get on, people get off, oh no one got on the roof that time, I'm disappointed uh, that one Trans Siberian Railway Simulator, oh dear it's not going to be good, though, is it? thing is, the odd game like this that can come out as a bit of a niche, you think, okay, that's quite good. Most of them, probably not very good.
Baumweil. Somewhere again we've been before, several times in fact, the, the harbour-y type place with the outscale boats. I do like a good harbour. Arriving at Baumweil. Doors are opening on the right. Doors are closing on the right. That really isn't very long. Langdungsbrücken. Nächster Halt. Landungsbrücken. Übergang zur F1, F3 und zu den Hafenfähren. Next stop. Landungsbrücken. Please exit here for harbor boat trip. Ausstieg rechts. Doors on the right. Exit here for harbor boat trip. Well, I bet you said in English, so you can understand that. Boat trips around the harbour. Breaking into Landungsbrücken. Oh God, no. Too much breaking in the land looks broken. There's another train. Considering we put all the uh, AI up, I think it's because of the times and days we've chosen. When I did it during peak, it only had medium on, and we put maximum on at like a 5 a.m. and 8:30 p.m. Well, you're not be running a maximum service, are you? It's going to be a fairly infrequent type service sort of thing. Uh, opening the doors. The doors are now doing the opening. They opened, and now we close them again. Go. That's definitely not a very long turnaround. Yep, open the doors. Go, 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 go. St. Pauli. Oh god, breaking. A lot of breaking. Much of the breaking. Actually, I didn't need to see how much breaking. The correct amundo amount of breaking, in fact. Thirty-three seconds. That's many of the seconds. Okay, so I'll have a jelly baby while we wait. Uh, hello, can I help you? Still shuts the doors, though. Three, two, one. Button press. Depart now, okay. Feldstrasse. Doors opening on the left. Oh, 
That's a fairly rapid speed, 53 Ks. Oh, it's a weekly lines one. I'm getting to recognise the stations now. Wow, quick time for a quick toot of your whistle and you're gone. Stern Shans. Hamburg have any hamburgers? I should imagine there are hamburger establishments in Hamburg. It's probably something called Hamburg Hamburgers. It has to be, wouldn't it? Or Hamburgers. I don't think I need tinned burgers for a while. I do like those. We've had this discussion before. Some people think go like, what? Right, 150 of the meters. Yeah, that's the ones. I really like them. Uh... Tin burgers, chips and beans. That's that's the that's a proper meal for me. Or occasionally peas if I'm feeling healthy. Close doors. Depart now, okay. All day breakfast in a tin. Yes. Back in my drinking days, that was one of my hangover cures. Yeah, it's, like, it's one of those, or I'd end up with one of those Rustler's Burgers. Um, that and a big bottle of Aid would cure my hangover, which would pretty much be every Saturday and every Sunday. We're now arriving at Schlump. Uh, yeah, they are expensive now. I was thinking it worked today. I haven't had a pie in a while. One day I'll start eating properly. I just don't get time. That's that's my issue. I don't get time to cook a, a proper meal between coming in from work and streaming. For when I'm... When I leave work till I'm sat here... Uh, if you have me an hour... So that includes getting home, getting my lunch ready for work the following day, uh, cooking and eating something, getting the stream set up and sitting down here is like an hour. <coughs> so you can see why I finish at somewhere between 8 and 8.30. Because <laughs> then I actually sit and chill for an hour before I go to bed. And then the process repeats. Uh, yeah, I occasionally do do something on a on a weekend in in the slow cooker, like I do a chili or a stew or something, and I'll have that for a few nights. That's fine, but I only do that every every couple of weeks, um, which is why I generally survive on. Well, this week's been two nights of frozen pizza. Uh, today I just shoved a couple of chicken kievs in the air fryer. Not the healthiest. And tomorrow I think uh, we'll end up being McDonald's because I've got an Ethan. Although if he ends up getting his apprenticeship, um, then that'll be my McDonald's days over because he won't be coming here again. Da 
don't say it like that. <laughs> ho Luftbrucker. It's the Father Christmas stop. The Ho 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 Luftbrucker. No, you won't, Ethan. You'll be off get, having your career and your life. One of the many that will just forget about us. Uh, which is why I've, I've said all along, you know, the last six years of doing this has been amazing. Um, and people come and go. Uh, that's what this community does. People come along at a time when they've got nothing else going on. Um, they stick around for a, a year, a couple of years. Uh, life happens, because it does. And then off they go again. Uh, this has pretty much done the same thing for me in my life. It's filled a gap. Um, they've been the odd person that stuck around for the whole six years. Uh, people have come and gone. People have gone, come back, gone, come back, which is brilliant. Um, and as I have been saying for the last year or so, um, you know, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this for. Uh, when I find that Mr. Right uh, and life starts happening for me, um then this may become secondary for me but yeah it is uh it's genuinely and say with crispy that's been around for a couple of years you know uh quiet as a mouse annoying git uh, but it truly is awesome to see him uh doing an apprenticeship and something that he's enjoying and something that's a, a long-term career for him uh same with ethan um i really genuinely hope that in 40 years time Ethan is that person that's either driven the same train route for the last 30 years or is that person on a platform that knows every single train every single connection and is one of those really helpful people you get on stations when you're struggling to find where you're getting to he'll be the one that helps you out and he'll look back uh, on his retirement and go you know what I had a fantastic career and it's awesome when you see people come along and develop certainly people that i get to know um with the likes of ethan the likes of crispy um it is like packing your, your kids off into the big wide world and just hopefully one day they'll look back and remember this old fool that they used to watch that used to do some simulation stuff when i'm rocking backwards and forwards in in my uh, retirement home. Exactly. So, you know, three months, six months, 12 months time, Ethan, you're going to be gone in all in the nicest possible way. Um, and you're, you've are got your whole life ahead of you. And a damn good luck to you for it. I wish I had the opportunities when I left school that people have got now. Next stop, Eppendorfer Bahn. Uh, yes, Michael. <laughs> That's one way of putting it, I suppose. Um, yeah, I, it's been something that I've been aware of for a, a, a while uh, and uh, made it officials of the community. Blimey, what? Uh, to six months ago, five months ago, something like that. Um, why do you think the rainbow has been around the Sims and Stuff logo for the last three years? <laughs> There's been a reason for that. Uh, closing doors. Departing now. Kellingsuenstrasse is next. In life, you've got to be who you are, not what people want you to be. Doors opening on the left. <laughs> well, again, you know, I'm not trying to get rid of you, Ethan. Far from it. Um, I'm a bit old for you. Well, thank you very much. 
Um, but, you know, you will look back in two years' time and hopefully remember us and me and this community. But your life's just beginning. Your career is just beginning. Um, you're not going to be thinking about this when you're, you know, on the first day off you've had in like eight days and working a, you know, a midnight shift and then trying to get home. Uh, left. <laughs> I'll be the one I remember. Exactly. Uh, oh, closing doors already. There we go. Departing now. And we'd all be going, remember that purple idiot? Zerichstrasse. Doors opening on the left. I'm sure you'll keep us informed of your progress, Ethan. I'm here to give you any uh, pointers on uh, interviewing, etc. Exactly the same as I did with Crispy, and it worked with Crispy. He got his job. I, get, I told him what to do and what not to do and what questions to ask. He listened to me. Shocker. Zerichstrasse. Crispy has more brainage than Ethan. You'd be surprised, actually. Um, Crispy is actually fairly intelligent. Uh, he just it doesn't come across that well. Um, uh, Ethan's fairly intelligent. But again, and the problem, and it's not just with those two, the problem is with the, that generation, um, they don't have life skills anymore. Because everything's done online and by email and by text. Um, you don't get that communication skill. You don't get people skills when you're a youngster now. Because you don't ring up anybody. You don't go and visit someone. You message them. So um, a lot of that's lacking. So you might be intelligent, but it's still that ability to do life is a bit that some people can struggle with. You're either confident and out there and you talk to anybody, which I will, which is why I did so well in a sales environment, um, or you're a quiet little mouse and you won't. It took a few attempts that, Michael. Uh, Borgvig. Oh, absolutely, Ethan. Which I think is why we've got on so well um, in the last few months. Um, is that... Uh, yeah, we can, and we do just get on. I've uh, it's been a long time since I've got on with someone as much as I actually do get on with Ethan. Uh, close, which is why he spends so much time here. <laughs> Depart now. Saarlandstrasse. That's what I just said. Uh, I think his mum uh, must miss him a bit.
You know, he's not at home leaving the fridge door open and stuff, you know. Well, yeah, I've got someone, um, when I started at a job, uh, I was 18. Uh, I was as quiet as a mouse. And there was one guy um, there, uh, Trevor Wines, his name was. And he basically took me under his wing. And he dragged me out of my shell, kicking and screaming. And he pretty much taught me everything. Not necessarily about the, the job and what I had to do and the stuff I was selling. Um, but he taught me stuff about life, how to talk to people, how you can get away with saying certain things in certain ways uh, to people. And basically made me who I was. Um, encouraged me to, to um, want to progress and become sort of management because he could see something in me. Um, and he was the one that um, got me to be assistant manager push me towards it um, and he's the one that helped me become the youngest manager the company had ever employed uh, by giving me the confidence to do so so you do get those people in life that help you and uh, that you do remember through life and yeah Ethan hopefully in 50 years time when you're finishing your career um, if you remember me for a split second then go you know what there was this guy Steve something um, when I was young, uh, he's dead now, um, but he's the one that gave me the confidence to be, for me to be me and to do what I wanted to do. And I'll be looking down from somewhere up there with a smile on my face. And that's, you know, part of the reason why I do this is, um, you know, if I can touch someone's life in a little tiny bit and bring some people a little bit of joy and a little bit of happiness by doing this rambling crap six days of the week uh, that makes me happy um, yes Ethan I do um, and if I was working somewhere that could employ you in a job that I think you'd enjoy um, you would be a shining little star wherever you end up and whatever you end up doing uh, when you've got the confidence to be yourself um, you are going to be amazing but you need the confidence to be you and you will get it uh, oh god uh, oh there we go we finished i thought i opened the doors then and we ended there we go on that little cheery somber did so saying goodbye to ethan uh sort of note <laughs> um well yeah and it comes back to what you said earlier with me michael i i was for a long time in my life i'm not i'm gonna end the stream on one of those little rambly things because i'm in a really good mood currently and in a really good place currently um i spent a long time in my life not being me um uh for those that do know, no one's got this far on YouTube anyway. I, I'm out as gay now. Um, I was in a relationship with a guy uh, when I was much younger. Uh, my parents just thought we were friends. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still in contact with a guy now, all those years later. Um, and was happy then. Uh, went into a relationship with a, with a, uh, a, a woman. Got engaged three times. Didn't last. I wasn't happy um it it wasn't me because my parents are both ill my i spent 10 years of my life i gave up my life to look after my parents they were the most important thing in my life uh they both passed three years ago uh i was then because of covid in this void in this numbness in this emptiness um and battling my way through depression and life and suicidal thoughts uh some of which came on my birthday this year um and um didn't know what to do to to get through life took the courage through the discord um uh of doing some meetups one of which was last december um and then did a few around my birthday time um and i'm going to be honest 
two people in the last six months uh, have kept me going one a hell of a lot more than another one is crispy uh crispy every single day will message me uh, and will chat to me throughout the day uh not great at communication um but um he messaged me keeps in contact some random crap the one person and the one surprise in my life and someone i never thought would touch me as much as they have has been ethan um on the the day that he came to york i actually had a conversation i think the day after it might have been that evening that i had a sense that ethan was one of those people that i could just talk for hours with about anything um and that's been the case uh, and he has been the person for the last six months um that has kept a smile on my face um so um for those of you that may be not many of you that are watching you never know what life is going to throw at you uh, you never know what is around the corner um you may not be looking for for someone in your life that makes you smile and makes you happy but they may just come along without you knowing it um and uh this community um and doing this uh has made that possible so although in you know a period of time ethan will be gone and off living his life uh i will look back fondly on this last six months um because it's been a blast But anyway, there we go. <laughs> a, a sombre way to end, uh, but a happy way to end. Uh, without this community, and certainly without Ethan and Crispy over the last six months, uh, I probably wouldn't be here, if I'm honest. Um, but life uh, is good at the moment. Uh, I'm really enjoying streaming again. Uh, I'm enjoying doing um, what, I, um, what I loved uh, and will continue to do so for the foreseeable future. Uh, carrying on, though, uh, tomorrow night where i should be playing with my balls <laughs> only one though in golf a singular ball uh, golfing with idiots uh tomorrow night uh then saturday night we got some open ttd some transport tycoon uh sunday afternoon back on the farm and then back with more madness uh next tuesday uh so there we go uh and you never know in the future more subway sim as well so i will end there uh no one did anything during this no one followed no one subscribed uh so no one to thank the moderators did sod all uh so i will thank you lot uh for joining me for the last two and a bit hours i will return with others tomorrow night until then if you have been thanks very much for watching <laughs>